Mountain Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. SpaceX is flying high this week as they launch their sixth resupply mission to the station. The Dragon spacecraft took off from Cape Canaveral on Tuesday, packed with more than two tons of equipment and supplies. The vehicle arrived at the station on Friday, where it was captured by the station's robotic arm. One of the new studies packed away inside Dragon is making new strides to keep bones healthy and strong. Osteo4 studies osteocytes, the most abundant cells in the human skeleton, to see how they respond to mechanical forces. Think weightlifting. When these cells sense force, they can trigger biological responses, signaling other cells to make or remove bone. Researching this could help preserve bone health for space flyers and assist people on Earth affected by osteoporosis or even bone fractures. Dragon also made a special delivery that's going to make life a little more enjoyable for the astronauts. The ISS Espresso machine will allow the station residents to make fresh coffee, tea, and other hot beverages. And they'll enjoy those drinks in specially designed space cups invented with the help of NASA astronaut Don Pettit. And the more water I drink, the more water that gets conducted up this open channel and parks itself near the lip. Twitter user at Abe Hutton wants to know what happens to the wastewater on the station. Well, remember that coffee we were just talking about? Here on board the ISS, we turn yesterday's coffee into tomorrow's coffee. The station has one of the most complex water recycling systems ever designed, able to collect and reuse a majority of wastewater, including sweat, condensation, and urine. This incredible technology will be vital for missions to destinations like Mars and is even helping to get clean drinking water to people on Earth. Make sure to keep sending your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.